Hey guys, I'm Rosalvena. Welcome back to another episode of Zero Escape VLR, or is VLR, or Virtue's Last Reward, or Zero Escape's First Two Last Reward, whichever you like to call it. Um, last episode, we basically finished out the flow of one of the endings. Uh, so we can we're continuing off of that green lock. Uh, they're calling it the what the fourth lock? Yeah, lock number four, which is kind of a weird thing. Um, and then we made a round vote, uh, round two vote, and died to Ally, <laughs> which was kind of weird in the last episode, the way we ended that, um, but we're here now to do Betray against Alice, which is kind of strange to me that Alice suddenly just up, got up, and, like, ran for the voting polls, which is kind of weird to me, apparently, because she just ran there, and maybe she was like okay but she was just like she did it because she felt like it was more justified i guess i don't know it's kind of scary and weird at the same time all at once <coughs> yeah sorry I'm, I'm skipping over her conversations because um we already heard it in the last episode at the end but i don't want to redo it again <laughs> So you're saying we should pick Ally, right? Since Alice is going to default to that anyway. <laughs> I know. It's not really fair to betray somebody who isn't voting. Luna's face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. I grinned back at her before I knew I was what I was doing. For a minute, the non game didn't seem so scary. <laughs> And betray. So we really did ally, so it doesn't really matter. So it's gonna be this. So I'm wondering if betray, because it looks like betray has more to it though. So that's the point where when we'll go down here. We're going to be getting through a few things, but I'm assuming here that um, it starts off with novel, and then it's going to hit a puzzle, and then it's going to hit a novel again, and then it's going to wait for me. It's going to get blocked, like one of the locks again, like one of these things right here. It's going to be one of those things again, because usually when you're in an odd number, like branch, Typically, it's waiting on a lock to unlock, apparently. But that's what I'm thinking. But it's kind of strange because there's already a lock up here. So why would you have another lock down there to begin with? Um, but I, I'm assuming it's because it's part of one of the person's ending. It might be like Alice's ending or something like that. Because I know every every character in this game apparently has its own achievement for their own type of ending. But I'm just kind of wondering because I know this is gonna be Dio's ending right here. This this particular this particular lock. This deal's ending, so it's probably going to wait for me to get to a point where I can unlock that to see what kind of ending he has. So, yeah. Um, or maybe it's not odd number. Maybe it's even number. I don't even know. I, I think it's odd numbers because it feels right that there's one blockage here. But anyways, uh, let's progress, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure Luna is going to be pissed. Yeah, Luna's might be pissed at me though for, for, for voting Betray. But I think that it's because Betray... Oh yeah, the door... The <laughs> Alice's door is actually open. You can clearly see it here. Like, like right there. It's really open. <laughs> I didn't realize that in the last episode either because... Uh, I walked out, I was just like, you know, oh, this is whatever you expect it. I just didn't realize that they actually did show you a sign that Alice voted alongside everyone. Luna and I stepped out of the AB room. Sigma -san, どうしてですか? Because san Because I saw something happen and I died to it. Luna, 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 for Christ's sake, trust me, this is for my own good because I would die. <laughs> Just wait for it. She's gonna get surprised once she sees it. There was nothing I could think of to say. Even I didn't really understand why I picked Petray instead. It almost felt unconscious. Like some other part of my mind was making the decision. Yeah, see this is what I was saying. I was thinking like Maybe I, I, no, no, I'm not saying, but like this, this was I was. This is my realization is like maybe if you go through Ally, 
my character kind of like Sigma Sigma feels like right. My brain probably died at one point in the other the alternate ending. So now I'm here to just give myself a little bit more time to survive this this madness. <laughs> Perhaps I've been possessed by some sort of evil spirit that had moved my fingers. My finger to the betray button against my will. <laughs> right. Well, we should go see the results. No, it's not. No, it's not. You'll, you'll see why. The look in her eyes was more painful than any punch I'd ever taken. I turned away and almost ran towards the projector. Anything to get away from those eyes. I'm pretty sure the results are the same for everyone, where everyone else betrays each other because they needed to... Because they, they all guaranteed that they didn't want to lose any points from here on out. I'm not surprised, but we'll see. Let's see all the betrays. Okay, that's guaranteed. That's guaranteed. Hey, I survived it again. All right, cool. It's funny because nobody realized that Alice got up in time just to vote. I don't. I still don't know myself. Like I don't know why they even went with it. But at least we're now gonna figure out the truth behind why Alice chose betray. Like, is it because she expected to get out of here with the fact that she hit betray on us? I guess maybe. Like she hit betray because she wanted the three points to get out of here. I think. At least I didn't die. That's all I needed. I didn't care for the fact that it's because I'm evil or not. I just hit it because I know that I was going to die on the other side. Everybody has the same points. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Everyone has the same points. Nani? What? It wasn't possible. I blinked, rubbed my eye, and looked again. It's the same exact <laughs> writing from the uh, the other ending. No. Y yeah. How can Alice's vote be betray? Turn around, buddy. That's not possible. Whoa, she's scary, though. Alice is very scary. Uh, Alice? She was standing inside the second room from the left. The room that should have been empty. Why? Doshite. My mind was re reeling. Where had she come from? As I was trying to form a sentence, she began to move towards us. From around me, I heard a cor chorus of muted gasps. It seems we were united in our surprise and, and confusion. Alice drew to a stop in front of me and glanced up at the display. Mm hmm. Yeah, Oh, so she went back to being herself after she got up. Coward? I literally died in the other ending, you dumbass. <laughs> me? A coward? You got some balls saying that to me after you picked to betray. Why are you even here? No, she was willing to betray us and kill us, kill me, generally. It's interesting that, like, the lesson's been taught to the fact that Alice will never ever choose ally ever again to us in this particular branch. She will always choose betray, and it's so frustrating. <laughs> Hmm. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. So you showed up right after we'd gone into the AB room. Into the AB room? So, mm. Oh, 
Oh, uh, so she just literally booked it as fast as she could. <laughs> and right as the 10 second mark was happening is when she started going in and like just hitting the, the button. Yep. So she can get the hell out of here. あなたたちの投票先は裏切りもしも私が医務室に留まったままだったら二点を失ってたことになるんだからつまり知恵のためだったと。I'm sorry, I'm just like so angry i'm like really angry <laughs> by the fact that she says oh yeah this is for self-defense bruh game made me self-defense myself because i died to the ally so i don't get self-defense what the flip <laughs> i hate it it's like no well i mean it's yes i get it because the audience is the only one who knew that on the other side we die anyways but here, it's like, no, it's not self-defense because of the fact that we did that. I was going to choose ally, but I chose betray because I knew you were, <laughs> we knew you were going to do that. <laughs> You're full of crap. Self-defense my ass. You chose betray because you wanted out. You had 6 BP. If I pick ally, you would have 9. That's what you were trying to do, right? <laughs> Are you serious? You would have killed me. Look. I only have one BP. You were this close to murdering me. I think Alice has, like... Alice has a vendetta to Sigma for some odd reason in this branch. It's really sad to see this, but Alice needs to stop being an asshole here. <laughs> She's becoming a more of an asshole here than any other, like, branch I've seen her in, and it's ridiculous. Just admit it. You were planning to kill me so you could escape. So I don't have to die any further, you dumb dumb. Tell the truth. Look, you have more points than the both of us, you dumb dumb. So even if you lose like three or two points it's not gonna put you far back anyways you get like four and i get like four as well so we even now that's how people even now no because literally one group has like <laughs> a pair of one and they need to survive just in case and they don't trust the other person. Everyone's literally just fostering literally distrust with each other. I don't want to pair up with Alice again. I really hate this. Because they forced me into this path with where Alice is like partnered with me. She wanted to partner with me. And I hate it. Absolutely hate it. We were forced into this partnership and I hate it. Fine Dio. So yo. I mean, I'm not surprised because Dio again wants out. Just as much as the other person. Well, technically, Dio wants more points. Dio is the kind of guy who wants more points. On the other hand, Quark and or K and Clover probably did the same thing because they know that they were not going to ally just to get out of there. <laughs> Distrust. こんな言い方をするのもなんですが、相手を出し抜いて脱出しようとした人も二人いますね。Yep。四つばさんとケイさんです。Yep。どちらか一方が協力を選んでいたら、もう一方のBPは必ず九になっていたはずで。Yeah
hey, trust me, you know, like, I'm not gonna betray you just randomly. I, I think the most, the most obvious, sane solution to all this is everyone ally. Never ever choose betray. But no, this game needs to make it spicy, to make it more unique, by forcing people to think betray is a fun choice to choose. Everyone is so dumb. That's all I would say that much about. I just don't like that each character acts so dumb. It's like, come on, man. You guys are all playing mind tricks just to play, like, a stupid game of, like, getting out first. It's, like, so dumb. Thankfully, nobody died, I'd say. I turned to look at the results again. Before, I'd only been looking at my own. I hadn't realized that there, there was only one word all across the roster. Betray. Whatever trust we'd managed to build had fallen apart. Everyone has suspicious. Everyone was suspicious of everyone else. Look, I'm not suspicious of Luna, and I'm not suspicious of Phi, because I know these two characters are not going to try to betray me as much, unless, unless, we said something wrong. But then again, that's now going to become this. The second round literally says a lot, meaning that everyone's no longer trying to trust each other, which everyone's gonna be forever like stuck in the loop of like betray, unless. Somebody is like super tremendously close to getting out of here, which is like if they have eight points and they just need two more, then ally is the only incentivization of like voting at this point. But who am I to know? I mean, I don't want to betray, but unfortunately, the story is making it worse for me. Had it become the bombs, or had it be, or had it been something else? It's something else usually. Whatever the reason, if it kept up, we'd never manage to escape. We'd be trapped here in a cycle of zero points rounds for the rest of our lives. Something had to be done. I closed my eyes and took a deep breath. <laughs> Alright guys, pay attention. You've probably already all figured this out and we can't keep going on like this. If we don't start being a little more trusting, we'd never get out of here. We need to work together. I might as well have been, have been talking to a wall. Does anyone have like a baseball bat or a metal bat? I want to beat these people up. Like I really want to, I don't want to be violent, but it's just like, these people are just so dumb that I'm just like, I need a baseball bat just to, just to just eliminate each people who are just being dumbasses. Okay. I will beat you up too, Dio. I don't give a crap. You killed me once. Dear God, this guy's gonna kill me twice somehow. Dio. What is this stupid thing? Why are you saying et tu? Just say you too. You too, Fi. <laughs> this is fine. Not et tu. I've never heard of et tu. I know what it is. It just means you too, right? Kind of thing. At two, five. Ah, oh. Without another word, she turned and left the warehouse. Dio and Kei quickly followed suit. I'm sorry, Alice. You're a villain to me no matter what. <laughs> And if, as long as you are with me, you're gonna taste betray for the rest of this stupid place as we go. <laughs> so don't you dare pair it with me. Unless you actually do pair it with me with the like the pairing thing. Like, that's fine. But if you are literally considering that you are like a solo again and you're gonna try to pair with me, screw you, Alice. Screw you. <laughs> this path is not worth your time here. So, go to Yotsuba. Again, it just feels like this first playthrough that I chose conveniently makes Alice such a villain, and it's just really annoying me though. But it also makes me comforting that she she gets a taste of her own medicine by dying in the first in the third playthrough. But I don't want to think like that. I hate it. I hate this game's like making me wanting to hate Alice. This game really wants me to hate Alice in this branch, and I really hate it. I really dislike it so so much. It's like, this particular branch is particularly there to just make me really dislike Alice, like, a tremendous amount, so that when we go to the other side, when she gets nixed from the story, it's like, okay, well, that's what it is. 
体の方は大丈夫なの Hell no. 本当に心配したんだからね。No, you weren't. You just did. You, you were just caring for your own numbers, Clover. I watched them walk away. Clover practically jumping with the light to have Alice back. Before long, they reached the yellow door and disappeared beyond it. You know, like the, the third playthrough. The third playthrough where everyone was like nearly dead makes me feel somewhat better in a weird way. I hate it. I hate that I have this feeling. But the third playthrough with everyone dying, nearly everyone, and nearly everyone dying, is way better than this stupid distrust thing. This whole branch so far with the distrust with every character so far. I don't like that. I know that it's, it's psychologically making me feel like I regret going through this path. But I swear it's just so like annoying to me because everyone's now filled with this trust. And I'm, I swear that Luna might be in that same camp now because I'm, I'm so sad by the fact that we're going to see Luna probably betray us if we ever paired up with her. I don't know. Minda. You aren't going to leave too. Are you sure? I chose betray. <laughs> She's thinking that I slipped. No, I did it because I had to get out of it because I've seen it happen. Honestly, it's kind of the weird thing where Luna's like, we must protect this girl. She's been, you know, the type of person who's actually been the nicest person out of this whole group, and it's just ridiculous. Though, though, a part of me feels like Luna is like an embodiment of Akane. Or June from 999 a little bit because Akane has never lost faith slash trust with anybody and it's kind of interesting that Luna kind of plays in that same camp because there's always seems to be this one character who's like the most innocent and less worth of like being evil and it's just like this character feels like it's a befitting character for that my chest hurt and when I blinked I felt something hot and wet prick the corners of my prick the corner of my eyes Oh, he teared up, that's why. Luna, I... I bit my lip. Before I could think of anything to say, the metallic rumble of doors closing echoed through the warehouse. Ambidex Gate ga heisa sare mashita. Ambidex Game 第3ラウンドは星の回です。ゲートは星のマークが記されたカードキーにより解除されます、うん、なおこのカードキーの使用回数に制限はありませんこれを用いることによりアンビデックスゲートは無限に解放することができます I forgot about the fact that the,、um... Yeah, the next room, the next rooms, the third round rooms are all the white rooms. But based, so that basically means that whoever we're paired with will be forced to be paired with us anyway. So I'm assuming that it's going to be the original group from the first round because I, I swear to God that's what they're going to do again. <laughs> because in the, in the third playthrough, that's basically what happened. It's like we went and got paired back with Phi, but we were forced through the door with Luna's bracelet because Luna's already dead by that point in the third playthrough. So it's like. This is probably doing the same thing where we're going to be forced to stick with Alice again, and I hate this game's way of doing it, but whatever. As many times as we want, huh? Yeah, and so everyone starts agreeing with like, getting enough points to get everyone out. Why? どうしてほらゼロウサギが言ってたじゃないですか AB ゲートが閉まると同時に
Yeah, we get shuffled with different colors. I'm pretty sure I'm with Phi. Um, because it seems like it's it's kind of like a no-brainer that they would do this to just make it more trickier on us. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Um, let's see here. I'm a cyan pear. What about you? Oh. So Luna, Luna and I will never pair up again, it seems. Okay, for the, for the rest of this branch. But, it makes it interesting because... Luna's forced paired with someone. Luna was never a pair before, so this is the first time for her to be paired with... Oh, no, no, this is her second time being paired in this branch. Yeah, because she paired up with me. I forgot about that almost. Um, so basically, this is going to be... But then she didn't do a, a pair in the first round. So so this is an entirely different roster of pair-ups and solos. Okay, that's better than me being forced to do whatever. But I'm, I'm, I'm worried that I'm going to be paired up with Alice for this final part. Because it's like, why, Alice? Why do you do this? I wonder what the others are. So... Yep. Hmm. We've got about one hour and twenty one minutes. Eighty minutes until the next set of chromatic doors open. So what should we do now? Yeah. Physically and emotionally. I really don't like how this is going. It won't matter how many times we repeat AB games if nobody trusts anybody else. We'll never be able to get out of here. Nah, I don't think so. Everyone's, again, very heartless and selfish in this particular branch. Everyone else on the other side at least didn't have that problem. Here, it's like everyone's really having that problem. It's like a weirdly extreme side of the game, while the other one's the other extreme side of the other game. And I bet the middle one's like the only neutral normal one. Probably. <laughs> yeah, but we already got something like that. We all want to get out of here. That seems like a pretty clear goal to me, but everybody has ch uh, everybody chose betray, including me. An enemy. But that's gonna also foster distrust because some people might think the person who's making the bombs is one of the nine of us. After coming back from the lab, I told her about the bombs while she gave Al Alice and Quark the ex Excelivir. Hmm? Yeah, that would work. That might work. If we can figure out a way- figure out which one of us planted those bombs, then everyone would work together against them. But what happens if the person who plants the bomb is paired up with me? <laughs> That's the number one clear issue here. But... How do we figure out who it is? Um, hmm. Clues, huh? Memory card. Yes, that's right. Excuse me. It's a little morning, so it's just like, I'm a little bit out of it still a little bit. That's right. The memory card. I pulled it out of my pocket and held it out toward her. I told you a memory card. It was under the bomb we found in the lab. I think whoever set the bomb trap dropped it. I think there's a computer in the infirmary that has a memory card slot, I think. I think I remember one of the puzzle rooms had a memory card with the computer. And I believe it was that one. Because it said that there was like a weird memory card slot that didn't really matter to anybody and then suddenly we'd used it yeah i don't know what's on it though we couldn't find any kind of memory card reader そうですかそれじゃあ手がかりにはんあってくださいそういえばこれどこかで見たことがはあわかりました医務室です Yep. 
あの時にこれとそっくり同じ形をしたメモリーカードが。See? <laughs> I remember that the infirmary had a computer that read memory cards on it. I kind of knew、uh, because I remembered it, because I remember looking at it and I was like, what is the use of this? Why is this here without any real reason to be using it for the memory card stuff? And when will, when will we ever get a memory card in the infirmary when we went there?、Um, funny enough, if she's bringing it up for us. <laughs> Then. Hi! I'm going to be able to get a memory card in the infirmary. あそこにあったモニターにこのメモリーカードを差し込めば。Alright, I'm guessing we're headed in there. Yep, teleported in. Lou and I exploded into the infirmary, nearly running into Alice, Clover, and Tenmyoji. Quark was there as well, of course. But he just, as we'd left him, asleep on the bed. Well, yeah, because you gave him Soparil, which basically knocks him out for pretty much the whole game, I think. I opened my mouth to retort, then thought better of it. If I really change, wanted, wanted people to start trusting each other, well, real change starts at home. As quickly as I could, I explained the second bomb and the memory card and how he'd come to, we'd come to the infirmary in hopes that we could discover the contents of the latter. Sigma, you r o s k u t a n o Right. Alright, cool. This will be where I'll stop for now because I think that it will save the contents of the memory card for the next episode. We're already hitting the 30 minute mark, so that's a pretty good deal for what we need to get done. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode or another video of mine. So, hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can night to one of watching this. So far, I'd say the flow has been going pretty far in now, so we're kind of like headed in somewhere. I think this is going to be the, the puzzle room, I guess, and then this is going to be like novel, and then potentially a lock, or maybe just something. I don't know yet. We'll see. Or maybe it might be another novel or puzzle or something like that, and then it'd be ending with an ending or something. Anyways, yeah, so otherwise, we have a lot more to go through for this particular branch to just finish this part out. Finish this part out and then figure out what kind of ending we're gonna get for this bottom part. And then, yeah, that would be pretty much that side. And then, once we're done, we'll head back up to this point after we're done with the,、uh, the left side and follow one of these paths, I guess. Concerning that one of them is gonna be like something, I guess. Um, and then we'll, yeah, and then once we're done or get stuck on that side, then we'll go back to the middle and then head down this path as well, just to see what we get from this path as well and stuff like that. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be jumping back to some of the original paths to do another set of playthroughs and then we'll go and、uh, figure them out as we head out through the space. So, anyways, other than that,、uh, let's call it now and、uh, I'll see you guys in another episode. So, Roz. Ah.